What's up everybody? I'm here back with a late night session here. As you can see, I got some clean tubs here. They're like now it's looking with the cocoa husk there. That looks really good. Snakes are really gonna love that. I'm gonna go ahead and set the heat tape up on this hashling rack again, how it kind of was before. Um, and then we might be able to utilize something up here as well, depending on with how long the heat tape is and stuff like that. So we're gonna see how that goes. All right guys, about almost all the way through, that's gonna sit up there all nice, about halfway through and it's going super easy just like first time all right so we got a piece of foil tape right here so it won't get affected by the heat keep that piece nice and flush another piece right here we're going to do the same all throughout Let's see how it goes all right guys it is in a little trick so i cut it on the white in between the white lines uh shout out to my boy zach on helping me out on the answer on that um he was the first one to get back to me. I really appreciate that. So I cut in between the white lines and then just uh, put the electrical tape on the end. I forgot to get a video of it before I taped it with that foil tape. But um, you can actually see this is the piece I cut off and I just copied exactly what they did. So super simple. But yeah, wow, that looks awesome. Second part is to do this. Once that tape comes in, I want to make sure I got the exact measurements for this one. So this is the tape I already had, and it just was too small. So this is what I have to rock with. We'll go ahead and keep it up there. This is going to be super sick. They're going to be much happier, and I will let you know when they're on. All right, guys. So we got the heat tape all set up. It is looking right. Snakes are happy. Adult rack to come. It's going to be really easy, especially when my brother made it. Just slip the heat tape right through the back. I'll do the back side on this one. Um, you know, I did the middle on this one. You know, it's a hatching rack. I don't think it'll really matter too much because it's a smaller bit anyways. But um, I try to aim it a little bit to the back, but yeah, so it looks good. But that one, I will definitely make sure I do it in that back little portion right there all the way, weave it in and out. So yeah, I got the thermostat set to a 94 right now, currently at 93.7 in there if you spot temp it it is about here we'll do it for you guys so it's gonna be about 87 degrees you just turned off there you do the bins there make sure snakes are in there all right yeah so it's gonna be about like 80 in there so that's good if you do right in the middle there, it's 80. If we do on the wall right there, 79. Yeah, we're chilling in here. It's awesome. So, and you could even turn up your thermostat a little bit if you do want it a little warmer in there. I'm just testing it out. I think 94 is going to be solid right now. Um, but yeah, definitely going to also throw a little humidity probe in here just to make sure everything's good, looks good. Um, nice and nice and fresh in there. All right. Stay tuned for when I get the heat tape for the adult rack and just waiting for it to come in the mail. And we will make a video on that. So this is going to be part three of the snake rack DIY. Do it yourself. There's a little lizard rack in there. This will all look nicer as well. But yeah, it's looking great. Again, shout out to the brother of the adult rack here. We got to move something real quick. There we go. Look at that. Putting these guys in cocoa fiber too tonight just was busy with the hatching rack last night didn't get done till late so we're gonna go ahead and do that tonight and i also just fed a lot of these guys yesterday so i didn't want to disturb them that was another reason why but all right also gonna be matching um my uh hot mojave hypo right here with my mail here soon so stay tuned on that as well all right guys appreciate you viewing